Hello everyone, welcome to Books Mandala's YouTube channel. In this channel, we talk about everything and anything related to books. In today's video, we have a summary of the famous dystopian book Fahrenheit 451. Set in the 24th century American society, Fahrenheit 451 is a dystopian novel. In this society, people do not read books, enjoy nature, spend time by themselves, think independently, or have meaningful conversations. Instead, they drive very fast, watch excessive amounts of television on wall-sized sets, and listen to the radio on seashell radio sets attached to their ears. Guy Montag is a 30-year-old fireman who proudly burns illegal books and the homes of the book's owners. In this world, firemen start fires rather than putting them out. However, when threats of atomic destruction looms over his town, he begins to question the value of his profession. Throughout the novel, Montag struggles with his existence and his place in an oppressive society. Montag begins to develop a friendship with his 17-year-old neighbor, Clarice McKellen. She is both curious about the world and rejects the technology on which it now depends, including the frequency of gun violence and speeding cars. She opens Montag's eyes to the emptiness of his life with her innocent questions and her unusual love for people and nature. He also realizes he no longer loves his wife, Mildred, who immerses herself in interactive television and seashell radio and is addicted to tranquilizers. One night, Montag returns home to find his wife, Mildred, has overdosed on sleeping pills. When the paramedics arrive, they try various tech-savvy methods and save her. They also discuss how frequent these overdoses are. The next day, Mildred goes about her daily life robotically and is unwilling to discuss anything. Frustrated with society, Montag begins to wonder why books are perceived to be so dangerous and why some people are so loyal to them. He responds to an alarm that an old woman has a stash of hidden literature. He is shaken when the woman refuses to leave her house and burns along with her books. Driven by curiosity, Montag steals a book from the woman's stash and hides it in an air conditioning vent. He returns home feeling ill as he relives the woman's horrible death in his mind and realizes that he himself is an instrument of destruction. A few days later, he learns that Clarice has been killed by a speeding car. Montag's dissatisfaction with his life grows immensely. The next day, Montag refuses to attend work, claiming illness. His fire chief, Captain Beatty, pays a visit to his house. He suspects that Montag might be hiding books. Beatty explains that it's normal for firemen to go through the phase of wondering what books have to offer. He lectures him about the offensiveness of books and how they came to be banned in the first place. According to Beatty, special interest groups and other minorities objected to books that offended them. Soon, all books began to look the same, as writers tried to avoid offending anybody. But society as a whole decided to simply burn books rather than offer conflicting opinions on them. Meanwhile, Mildred organizes the bedroom and discovers Montag's hidden book. She is astonished but keeps silent. When Beatty leaves, Montag retrieves some 20 books that he has stolen over the years and begins to read. He looks for his wife for help and support, but she is more interested in television and cannot understand why he would want to take the terrible risk of reading books. He recalls meeting a retired English professor named Faber a year earlier and discussing with him the values of ideas. He visits Faber, who at first is afraid that he might become another victim to the fireman. But the two men grow to trust one another very soon, and Faber begins to mentor Montag. 
sharing insights and making plans to overthrow the society. The two men planned the risky job of reproducing Montag's books. Montag will also plant books in the homes of firemen to decredit their profession and to destroy the machinery of censorship. Faber gives Montag a small two-way radio that he made himself to insert into his ear so that they can always communicate. Montag goes home where two of his wife's friends have come over to watch television. The women nonchalantly discuss the war that is about to be declared. This makes Montag mad and he takes out a book of poetry and reads Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. Favor buzzes in his ears for him to be quiet. The women are extremely disturbed by the poem and leave a file to complaint against Montag. Montag goes to the fire station and gives up one of his books to Beatty. Beatty barrages Montag with contradictory quotation from great books to show that literature is dangerous, complex, and deserves to burn. The alarm goes off suddenly and they rush to answer the call only to find that the alarm is at Montag's own house. Mildred has betrayed Montag and gets into a cab with her suitcase. Beatty forces Montag to burn his house himself and when he is done, places him under arrest. When Beatty continues to berate Montag, Montag turns the flamethrower on him and burns him to ashes. Montag also knocks the other fireman unconscious and runs. The mechanical hound, a monstrous machine that Beatty has set to attack Montag, pounces on Montag and injects his leg with a large dose of anesthetic. Montag manages to destroy the hound with his flamethrower. Then he walks off the numbness in his leg and escapes with some books that were hidden in his backyard. He hides the books in another fireman's house and calls in an alarm from a payphone. Montag goes to Faber's house and learns that a new hound has been put on his trial, along with several helicopters and a television crew. Faber leaves for St. Louis to see a retired printer who may be able to help them. Montag gives him some money and tells him how to remove Montag's scent from his house so that the new hound will not enter it. Montag takes some of Faber's old clothes and runs off towards the river. The whole city is watching the chase unfold on television. Montag manages to escape in the river and change into Faber's clothes to disguise his scent. He drifts downstream into the country and follows a set of abandoned railroad tracks until he finds a group of renegade intellectuals calling themselves the Book People, led by a man named Granger, who welcomes him. They are a part of a nationwide network of book lovers who have memorized many great works of literature and philosophy. They hope that they may be of some help to mankind in the aftermath of war that has just been declared. Montag's role is to memorize the book of Ecclesiastics. Enemy jets appear in the sky and completely obliterate the city with bombs. Montag and his new friends move. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you find this summary useful. You can purchase this book from booksmandala.com. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more bookish content.